realized that uh, um, there was dysfunction within the level 10s. A, a lot of times the process and how we actually executed wasn't really truly effective um, because we weren't uh, actually following and living. Hi, uh, my name is Jonathan Burkett, uh, Operations with Trackable Med. We have been running EOS now for mm, six years, five years, somewhere in that window. Um, and when I say running, uh, pseudo. Uh, we read the book and we ran level pens to uh, a fraction of uh, what it's all about. Truly didn't embrace it. It was like one of those a la carte things. We choose to do this, we choose not to do that. Uh, since uh, we entered into an agreement with you, and I guess it's been on our second year now, and uh, things are, are uh, very, 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 very good. It's uh, tremendous uh, in comparison to uh, meaning our level 10s and how we actually operate a level 10. Uh, is so much more effective now than it was in the past. How that matriculates throughout the entire organization too, we did a reboot and a refresh uh, with the entire organization that is half of our organizations used right now. Uh, certain job roles, uh, the other half can't because um, uh, it, it's just, we, we need them to be the doers and, and we don't have the ability to take a group of 20 people. Um, it, it just wouldn't, Taking them offline would hurt us financially because we're a small company. And so uh, while, you know, just a lot like the book, they talk about leadership, uh, engaging in leadership's offsite, doing the offsite meeting is for greater good for the entire company, even though they're not present. Uh, so all of those things through your consulting service has really uh, helped us operate better, think deeper, and hold ourselves more accountable when, when we're actually having our meetings and when we're not in our meetings and it's throughout the week. It's not a level 10 on, on that particular day. It's a week of level 10 and, and that's just the celebration and the accountability that we hold each other to on that particular day. Um, but we, we have been holding ourselves to EOS and to the 90 program throughout the week. Great question because it really it's what it does is it it although our business is segmented which a lot of businesses probably are um, we're taking the system and we're truly going in a drill down uh, from leadership and from our leadership group to a, a sub management group which is new for us as in, we weren't doing that before this was part of your advice as, as a consultant to us and taking that down to a, a next level management and then going down even lower now, we actually have uh, part of our organization for, that are doers that can get off the clock or off, off time as part of these meetings. It's helped our whole organization plan better, see the vision. So it's not just leadership espousing a vision, but the whole organization seeing the vision, living the vision and, and how that matriculates through it's, it's, I think it's what it's done. I can't say definitively. It's made us a more profitable company. It's made us a better organized company, um, both in messaging and activity. You know, how we, how we uh, define the week, how we hold each other accountable to the week, but then the organization as a whole, I gotta believe that if someone were to do the due diligence, we probably could say we, we made money and put a dollar amount to it. Um, we just haven't yet. Most definitely, most definitely, because um, I, I mean, I do have, in fact, I actually was reviewing uh, Traction again. I do periodically every quarter reread the book um, because, you know, sometimes after, even though you live something, you then start modifying what you actually read or what you interpreted. And so it's a good grounding. I bring that back. And so then that helps me then when I'm in weekly one on one conversations or, or when we do our, our five, five, five. And it really helps in, in communication so we're, we're all on, on the same uh, wavelength because they are with our segmentation between uh, the med tech companies and, and the physicians. They're completely different um, business operation process. Um, the two technically kind of tie together, but they really are different animals as far as how we take an approach towards a client and how we 
how we run a process against a campaign for a med tech client versus a physician client. So, uh, Cullen and, and Exit Momentum, it's, it's true accountability. Um, it, we're paying somebody to uh, tell us that we're, we're not doing things in the right manner, advise us on what's the redirect, so that way we can get ourselves on track. And then, and then it's not just a, we, we meet together once a quarter, it's the contact. The availability to be able to email, the be, uh, availability to be able to text, and get a response, a question, some advisement, which I've personally done myself, is reached out, how would you approach this? How would you handle this? If you had the opportunity to be in my spot, what would be the advice that you would give me? Um, and, and so I find great value for that um, because it's a true consultant relationship and um, meaning that you don't placate things that uh, uh, it is, it's truth, it's the ugly truth. Um, and, and sometimes people outside organizations need that. And, and I think it's a great value. Um, so much so that uh, I've actually told other businesses uh, about exit momentum.